so this will be example number four from slide and in this example you can see there is two inductor involving we haven't seen the method for solving transients involving two inductor but we can really solve it uh, with the knowledge we have with one inductor because after switching you see after switching the circuit will look like this and if you can find out this current and if you can find out this current and then the subtraction of them will give you the current through the switch that's what we want now see this current as this is short this current will only be affected by one inductor this inductor and this current will also only be affected by this inductor so we can again apply our previously known methods and find out what will be the current through the switch and the voltage has this kind of form now again we'll go through the working procedure first working procedure is find out time constant <coughs> now as we want to find out two currents so there will be two time constants time constants time one will be l over l1 over r1 now this is all values in phase domain 10j 15j so xl as you know is equals to omega l so l equals to xl over omega so xl1 over omega r1 and for this current the tau 1 value turns out to be uh, xl1 is uh, let me put it xl1 is 10 omega is 314 and r1 value is 2 so 1 by tau 1 value will be 62.8 so the first solution will so the first current this current will have a transient portion equal to a e to the power minus 62.8 t and what about tau 2 the transient time constant for this current that will be l2 over r2 again x of l2 over omega of r2 and 1 by tau 2 will have value 1 to 5.6 if you put the values so transient portion for second current will be b e to the power minus 1 to 5.6 t now we have to find out the phase solution after switching the circuit looks like this there is nothing to energize this branch so the current through this branch in steady state will be zero so that's what i'll be put here putting here i2 steady state will be zero however i1 steady state will have some value it will simply be the voltage over the impedance so i1 steady state will be voltage in time in frequency domain it will be 15 angle of minus 50 degree so if 15 yeah minus 50 degree and divided by 2 plus j10 and that will have value 1.47 with an angle of minus 93.7 degree so i1 std state will be 1.47 sine of 3140 minus 93.7 degree so my third procedure is to build out complete solution so i1 of t will be a e to the power is transient portion which is a e to the power 162.8 t plus 1.47 sine of 3140 minus 93.7 degree the second current will be will have only transient portion remember its steady state portion is zero so b e to the power minus 125.6 t that will be third portion now fourth portion is the use of ic initial condition i mean so again to use initial condition let us move to the circuit situation at the rate t equals to 0 minus t equals to 0 minus this switching didn't happen so it looks like this kind of a series circuit i have redrawn it in some way and 2 j10 j50 and 20 and the voltage source as 15 angle of minus 15 degree so i need to find out the current that goes through the inductor one inductor one at the moment of zero and i need to find out the current that goes through the inductor or two at the moment of zero both the current will be same as you can see this is a series circuit so if we 
if we apply our analysis method then i1 0 minus equals to i2 0 minus that equals to 15 with an angle of minus 15 degree over 2 plus 20 will give me 22 plus j of 60 so that will give me 0 0.234 with an angle of minus 84.86 degree so i1 of 0 minus uh, equals to i2 of 0 minus the equation that governs their current flow at the moment of t equals to 0 minus will be 0 0.234 sine of 3140 minus 84.86 degree now I, we are only interested at the values of t equals to 0 so put t equals to 0 here so i1 0 minus will be i2 0 minus equals to 0 0.234 into sine of minus 84.86 degree and the value turns out to be minus 0 0.233 <coughs> now we have found out the values of our i1 and i2 at the moment of 0 so simply I will put t equals to 0 in our complete solution and find out the constants i1 at the mo moment of 0 Oh, and yes, one important thing is missing. This is the current at the moment of t equals to 0 minus. And as in the current through inductor cannot change abruptly, the current uh, up, even after switching will be the same. So that's the idea. So I10, I will simply put in complete solution t equals to 0 will be equal to A plus 1.47 sine of minus 93.7 degree. And this has to equal to minus 0 0.233 and that means a will have a value if i solve try to solve 1.232 and i2 of 0 will simply be b and that will have a value minus 0 0.233 okay so we we'll find out a1 and a i1 and i2 completely so i1 completely as a function of time will be a, a which is 1.232 e to the power minus 62.80 plus 1.47 sine of 3140 minus 93.70 degree and i to t will be minus 0 0.233 e to the power minus 125.60 now as we know before the current through switch will simply be the i1 minus i2 And if we do that, we'll find out 1.232 e to the power minus 62.82 plus 1.47 sine of 3140 minus 93.7 degree. And minus minus will make plus, so 0 0.233 e to the power minus 1 to 125.60. So that will be the complete solution of the current that's going through switch. So if you see two inductor, try to find a way that will may make you solve the equation for only one inductors just like in this example that will be all for example number four